there's a notification bell in Follow Boss that's a really handy tool. It's over here at the top right. Everyone will have this. If you click on the bell itself, the icon here shows you that you have notifications. It's gonna show you all the notifications. So you can click on them. Uh, typically, depending on what it is, it will take you to that item. So if it's a voicemail and you click on it, it'll take you to that voicemail, either in the client record or a team inbox. Um, there's a number of other things you may have here, notes, things like that. You can mark them red just by clicking on them, the fact that you have read them. Uh, there's also an option, um, there's an X here, you can click to clear out this notification. You can also mark all as red if you have some of these and you're looking to just get caught up. So that's a good option. But what I would really wanna dive into, is if you click on this gear, and this is unique to each account. So if you change this in an owner or admin account, it will not change it for everyone. We'll look at some of those settings here in just a minute. But um, each agent can set up their own preferences. So again, click on the bell, then the gear here. This is gonna take you to a pretty deep level of notifications. So you've got different types of notifications, the notification bell, like we just looked at. You've got browser notifications. Now you need to have these on in your browser for this to work right. You can see here that I do not have that, um, but it'll show you that. Mobile push notifications to your Follow Boss app. This is a text message and an email alert. So you'll see there's a bunch of different options here. Obviously when you receive a new lead, you're gonna to wanna to keep some sort of notification on. If you just want emails and not text, you can do it like this. If you just want text and not emails, uh, you can just do this accordingly. Assign an existing lead, again, pretty important. Uh, most of the lead related things are pretty important. New voicemails. Again, you have a pretty good amount of control here over where and how you get notified. If you go below that, there's some settings for team inboxes as well as pawns. So a lot of cool things you can do here, but make sure you have a quick look. Again, the notification bell, drop that down, click on the gear to get to this screen, but you'll wanna take a look at this. Um, nobody needs a bunch of notifications for certain things, but you may have preferences as to whether you want the mobile app to notify you on your phone, if you're on a desktop computer, you might want more browser notifications. And I would recommend leaving more of them on for the notification bell and getting used to checking that as part of your daily workflow. But pretty simple stuff, but worth a quick look to make sure your settings are set up the way that you want them.